what is up y'all i've got another mystery box to open for you and i've narrowed it down to uh, this one has to be the vintage clothing <laughs> And if you've watched my videos, I opened one of these previously and it was all uh, women's vintage clothing. And um, they were all really nice, but they were very much, um, um, I guess by vintage it meant that they were also for a vintage crowd. So it wasn't like women's vintage concert shirts or, you know, women's vintage for the crowd of 20 and 30 and 40 year olds it's gonna leave that there and again i have no problem with that but uh, some of them were heavily scented they were also very delicate by delicate i mean the tags fell out when i cleaned them and i had to clean them because some of them were stained anyhow this box uh the description says it can be men's clothing it could be women's clothing it could be a combination of men's and women's clothing they will all be vintage unless they're not meaning there's a possibility something will get mixed in they have pretty good disclaimers on the site that say we can screw up and you can't get a refund but for the most part the one time they screwed up i got a whole bunch of extra clothes that i have more than profited on so screw ups may not be bad so vintage clothing lot i'm just gonna smell check it hold on hold on, hold on. it doesn't smell like fragrance that's extremely positive but i'm mad oh my god i just opened this and i swear it's the same stuff so vintage clothing just right off the top appears to be all women's shirts. I already got one of these in the last box. Come on, y'all. Did they get like a donation from Dillard's? Like what's happening here? A turtleneck. A vintage turtle turtleneck. Okay. <laughs> Fine. A vintage knit sweater from bay point threads extra large that is very vintage grandma's attic y'all grandma's attic 100 percent acrylic i mean that's i mean it's cool but but it's not cool you know what i mean it's a flower pattern another reason it's not cool i feel that this extremely it kind of limits your selling space and the fragrance smell is is too much these are supposed to be washed that's the one guarantee is that all the items are clean but i think they toss mothballs in the box or something here's a jacket east west action design small 100 percent nylon that's the shell, the trim, polyester and cotton, nylon lining, made in Hong Kong. That's not the worst piece. I think someone would would want that. It's has some style, a little flair to it. Another shiny sweater from the Chaos Company, which should be easy to look up. All right. Got a little hairball here. Here's another silk nylon, maybe a nightgown. I got vintage lingerie, y'all. Christian Christina. It's a uh, look like cotton lined with maybe a polyester or silk outline here. I'm like wondering if every box they had was donated from Braddock. I don't know. It's vintage. I'm on the fence. I could possibly sell that. 
just throw in one concert tee. I know you got them. Come on. Here's another flowery sweater. Aileen Petites. Made in America. Over for care. Over. 100% cotton. Machine wash. Code. No bleach. Tumble dry. Remove promptly. To avoid wrinkles, I'm sure. It's a really wide neck. It's almost like a shoulder length neck hole I guess that's a head hole right I don't know what it is don't listen to me wait no stay listen this looks like is it a vintage Christmas sweater no nope, it's another fish sweater these are sourced from a uh, ocean um, side or near ocean location so I have another nautical themed sweater uh, this was worn by Marsgi, Mar Marsky, whatever. Sandy, Sandy Low, one size, made in Macau. 100% cotton knit sweater with uh, yellow stain on the on the armpits, and that's kind of what I had a shirt that was covered in that last time. So clearly derived from the same attic or basement storage unit here's another padded shoulder sweater little fall leafy design i hurry up and get that listed in case someone wants some leaves knit port usa i'm confident if i wash this the tags will just fall off y'all can hear me my excitement right here's another cable knit sweater kind of super heavy weighs about eight pounds honors da, 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 da. medium my wife's beside me saying that's an older person's brand yes we're aware that's what i've been said what is happening josephine polyester i mean they sell padded polyester I mean, you wear it is dancing grandma you don't want to wear it dancing nani mm, no. <laughs> we're grandparents but uh different kinds prelude i'm sorry i'm not trying to make fun but let's let's just let's just level set let me find I'm just going to find the invoice here the invoice here does kind of show like some silk shirts but then there's something in there that looks like a like a concert or you know it's a t-shirt like this little thing with the red letters I can't even my autofocus won't work that that red that's a t-shirt like that gives you hope it has a dinosaur on it it's saying something funny and if it's vintage then it's valuable i'm not seeing anything close to that all we're getting is sweaters and nylon shirts which is you know fine there i'm selling them but um that's it's a little it's a little ridiculous Apparel, vintage apparel box, I think is guaranteed like 10 to 15 items. Um, yeah, it's a lot of work for a very narrow market. Anyhow, if you just love the heck out of these vintage clothes and you see the potential in them and you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments. Let me know by hitting that thumbs up after you hit the subscribe button and ring that bell so that you're notified of my future content. Well, this is Andrew with Goodwater Pickers. We find what you love. Have a good night.